Hey there guys and welcome back to Satisfactory where I'm going to be starting a new series. Based around each build that I do, I'm going to do a more detailed walkthrough and show you things that you would normally miss on a showcase video. Now I just want to point out that none of my builds are 100% efficient. I don't do stuff like that. I just make what I like. So firstly I'm going to show off the main storage hub. Now this build was inspired by Kybercorp from the Yu-Gi-Oh! manga series. As you come through the main doors, the first thing you'll see is the main support column looking very colourful. Inside is where all the bouts are hidden. To the left and to the right we have an item drop off point. Any items chucked in here will be sent to the main storage unit at the top. In this room we are producing wet concrete. Now the concrete produced here goes straight to the storage hub. Any leftovers is sent to the awesome sink. Now the other three rooms in this lobby are also producing concrete but that is sent to the main train station area. So as we come over to the awesome sink and jump the barrier we'll find this ladder leading down to the sushi belt. Now as you can see we have the raw concrete and the normal concrete. Jump over the belts and we'll go to the start of the sushi belt. The items are sent down from the train station on the conveyor belts located underneath the road. They are then added to the main line going towards the sushi belt. The way the sushi belt works is that each smart splitter is designated with a different material. The first one being concrete, so as we can see the concrete is full in the main storage area, so any overflow is being sent straight to the awesome sink. The process is the same for all items. Now as the items go all the way round, they will then join onto this conveyor lift and be sent to another area with full of smart splitters. Now if an item was to be sent all the way to the end, it means it hasn't got a designated area to go. It is then left in a miscellaneous box which I'll show you in a bit. So now back in the main lobby, we'll take the hypertube to the top of the main storage area. Now as you can see the conveyor belts go all the way around this support column and are in a stack of two, so there's one at the front and one at the back. Now once you're at the top you'll see all the containers with the items in that we need, so concrete, iron plates, reinforced iron plates and so forth. Now we do have some containers that have no items as we still need to unlock them but eventually they will be in use. Now coming down here you can go through this window and if you really wanted to take in the sides. Now this is also a quick way to the bottom but I can't guarantee that you'll survive. Now coming back inside and following this path all the way around at the back of the storage unit you'll find two more hypertubes. Now the left one goes to the R&D floor and the right one goes to spare parts. So going to the R&D floor first, this is where you'll find the crafting bench, the MAM and the equipment workshop, as well as some chests with some food in and other items. Over here you'll also find the awesome shop with the tickets in this box here. Going back to the top, we'll then take the right hypertube down to the spare parts floor. So this floor is just an extra storage floor. Over here is where I put in stuff that I don't normally use, so portable miners, flowers, gunpowder and so forth. This is the miscellaneous chest in area, so any items that don't have a storage area for them are sent in here and then I'll come up here and just rearrange everything to its allocated storage container. Over here is the previous years of the Fismus event. 
And that's pretty much it for this floor. So we'll go to back to the top. Now behind these is a ladder which you can use just to speed getting back to the front. And that's it for this floor. So taking this hypertube will take you to the hub area itself. Now that's all there is for this build guys. I really do hope you've enjoyed the first episode of this new series. Please let me know in the comments below. And if you could like and subscribe it really helps the channel. But other than that guys, take it easy and I shall see you in the next one.